I think the the COVID time kind of uh, the lockdown kind of for myself it kind of give me a little break uh, to just have a little rest and then come back with a more fresh ears uh, for the music and I'm more able to listen. Uh, that's more for my side. Um, and then we didn't we didn't actually didn't do so much live uh, concerts uh, during the lockdown. Um, maybe Kala did a few for mm. his uh, solo, more like in the intimate, but he can tell you more about it. Uh, but then after the lockdown, now we have this uh, new things called Neko Lab that we trying to uh, put all our workshop and rehearsals more like in an open view, uh, stream it on, on the uh, Instagram or any social media platform to able to have others to have a little look into how we put things together. Um, that's that's the kind of the little new things that we have come up after the lockdown. Um, but I mean, personally, I think um, in during the lockdown, I don't feel that there is necessary for me to keep doing some music online to prove I'm a musician in that way. So I was just taking advantage of taking a rest and then come back with a bit more fresh Great. into the performer. You just played a concert with James Black's yeah. Lullabies. Yeah, know, last week. It. Yeah. And I was wondering how playing for audiences has changed given the new situation. How did, you've, you played Lullabies, Lullabies mm. in the same venue yeah. just over a year ago. Yeah. And what if you compare the two performances? Mm. Um, I, for me, I actually, I found the the performer before the lockdown was actually more intimate. Of course, people doesn't have all these rules that kind of like keep us apart in that way. So, and, and this time we uh, on the stage, you don't feel so much different uh, mm -hmm. with the audience, but in the last moment, for example, um, uh, like you see, I feel it's a little bit um, less connection with them yeah. in a way I feel yeah um, do you see any ways for getting around that problem of having less connection um, well so far I think uh, like what what when we open this uh, rehearsal maybe that's a way to have them able to observe what we are doing maybe that's a one way with mm. the limited uh, possibility we can um, so people can have a look of behind what we're doing so when they actually see our perform so they will be able to connect things a little bit more mm. since that uh, now we have so many rules around us that we can we have to wear the mask we we have to keep distance yeah. and yeah right. And uh, in my opinion, it's uh, well. First of all, since we are we are kind of entering, or we we have entered into a new era. In like, it, well, it's it was basically the world was world existed pre Corona time, and now now it's post Corona time. And I really think it has had and it will have a major impact on anything. For example, like now we are really understanding, we are really grasping the the full potential of technology. Uh, so, so all of these these kind of new improvements or or changes, they just they just make me think that maybe we will never return back to the the thing like the way things were, and I don't I don't necessarily think that it would be a bad idea. I mean, especially for um, for contemporary musicians as ourselves, um, we are always seeking ways of changing things. So I think we are, I would at least I would view us to be in the forefront. Uh, of this this kind of this um, this change and like like uh, we we were the first ones to kind of to to navigate uh, how to present new kind of concert formats and so on because that's anyways what we are going to what we are doing even before the pandemic time so I I think it's just it's not necessarily we shouldn't try to get back into the previous intimacy but we we should try, try to find new kinds of different and or improved intimacies. Mm. A kind of acceleration of things that were set in motion already. Yes. Yeah. 
Lorenzo, what about uh, you've uh, with uh, Reconnect? You've also been doing a lot of concerts in different places. How's that? Yeah, the the, the um, with the project had this was a bit. Uh, of course, the coronavirus was a was a was a dramatic moment, but we had to find ways, uh, both with Neko and the other projects, to 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 keep working and keep doing our art. And in that sense, as Kale said, technology came as a as a resource. So we, for example, we were working with composers in different countries and trying to to organize things together. But in the end, uh, from from my side, I really miss the the the, the audience. I, I I'm not a big fan of streamed concerts uh, because I really I really believe that. Uh, music is made in, in the same room and the audience is giving you 80% of what you're doing on stage. Mm. And this I miss a lot. Mm. I had the chance to play in the last weeks in both in Swiss, in Switzerland and in Denmark. And I really realized how the difference. I realized how myself as an artist, as a musician, I react to the room that I have. And this is something uh, that I would, would really like to, to, to be back. Of course, now people are afraid. Uh, people are this distant from each other. But I, I, I still miss this um, live situation where I interact with people.